misconceptions in current nutritional advice. Medical professionals and researchers often believe our health issues and diseases stem from DNA flaws. Their approach mainly revolves around symptom management for conditions like cancer, autoimmune disorders, Alzheimer's, and diabetes. This summary aims to alter this perspective, highlighting the remarkable efficiency of the human body. Typically, our bodies are influenced by our diet and various environmental factors. This point implies that enhancing our health involves changes to our dietary intake and surroundings. Rather than masking health issues with medications, we should address their fundamental causes. Pitfalls and tricks are nearly impossible to avoid when it comes to diets and food. For example, we all know that the allure of sweet flavors is hard to resist. Food manufacturers know this and add sugars to their products to foster brand loyalty. Primary sugar sources include sweets like candy, cakes, cookies, and fruit beverages. But it's also stealthily present in numerous healthy foods. For instance, some frozen meals contain as much sugar as three chocolate bars. Additionally, certain low-fat yogurts have more sugar per serving than candy. Therefore, being vigilant and identifying hidden extras in your diet is crucial. We all believe cholesterol is a problem, but it hides the real issue. Elevated cholesterol levels typically indicate the body's response to inflammation, which is a condition that needs to be addressed. However, cholesterol serves as a crucial substance for repair. While most Americans consume 200 to 300 milligrams of cholesterol daily, our bodies actually need around 1,000 milligrams. Consequently, the liver compensates for any deficiency by producing the required amount. In this summary, we'll look at the root causes of the common diseases of modern times and how altering these foundational elements can reverse many contemporary health afflictions. Let's dive in to stay healthy. Key point two. What you consume determines your overall health. The food you eat and your environment determine how your body functions. Instead of feeding your body with drugs, you need to find the root cause of your health challenges. Most health issues result from what goes into your body. Proper nutrition may prevent many health problems. Most researchers or companies propose health care plans that fit their schedules. Each agency funds studies and research to either draw attention away from their negative contribution to disease-causing agents or to show that their competitor's product is responsible for causing diseases. Since the advent of sugar and sugary substances, there has been a drastic increase in health-related issues. For example, Richard Johnson, a nephrologist, discovered that around one-third of adults globally suffer from elevated blood pressure compared to 5% in the 1900s. Diabetes cases rose from 153 million cases in 1980 to a staggering 347 million. Johnson stated that sugar should be blamed for this drastic increase in high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity. It is noteworthy that health practitioners blindly follow the American Medical Association's and FDA's research results, believing they are valid and devoid of errors. However, when doctors prescribe for their patients, sometimes their condition deteriorates. Yet, instead of looking into some of these prescriptions, they blame genetics or the patients for not following instructions. It's assumed that medicines are the only solution to health changes and that there's a set of medications that doctors must prescribe for any symptoms presented by a patient. If a doctor doesn't prescribe such medication for an ailment, they may face a lawsuit for going against the standard of care. In addition, the pressure some doctors face doesn't allow them to spend enough time with their patients. Did you know? In the 1970s, the sugar industry funded research indicating that saturated fat was the primary cause of coronary artery disease, thereby shifting the focus away from the harmful effects of sugar. Key point three, your diet should be a priority. Your diet is your input. You must remember that your output solely depends on the input you provide for your body. For instance, when you consume too many carbohydrates, you tend to experience fatigue brain fog, low blood sugar, intestinal bloating, tiredness after meals, increased fat storage, weight gain, increased triglycerides, increased blood pressure, depression, and possible addiction. Carbohydrates convert to sugar, which increases insulin, the fat-storing hormone. Sugar also induces other hormones, which change your biochemistry and cause more cravings from carbohydrates. Additionally, sugar makes you hungrier. The reason is that consuming too much increases your blood sugar rapidly, and you immediately experience a drop. Sugar increases the rate of aging and causes high blood pressure, 
sodium retention, congestive heart failure, increased homocysteine, and osteoporosis. Another misunderstood nutrient is saturated fat. You often hear about why saturated fat is wrong. Still, you hardly hear about its positive effects, including creating robust cell membranes, building strong bones, protecting the liver against alcohol and other toxins, improving the immune system, and protecting the digestive tract. Developing healthy habits will help you avoid the root causes of diseases. Specific habits include reducing stress, quitting smoking, reducing inflammation, increasing nutrient density, getting enough sleep, exercising daily, getting some sun, and eating the right foods. One possible solution for providing the body with the correct input is through a keto diet. Balancing your micronutrients properly is crucial when it comes to a ketogenic diet. You can achieve more nutrients by reducing the intake of carbohydrates to fewer than 30 grams daily. Moreover, your protein consumption should be 0.8 times your lean body mass, which is your overall weight minus any body fat. We'll explore these requirements in more detail. Fat is the best source of energy. You can manage the fat in your body to lose weight and heal. Key point four, grasping the workings of the human body. Our body operates through metabolic pathways, ensuring optimal functioning to sustain life. A harmonious interplay of signals, feedback mechanisms, loops, and enzymatic actions occurs when your body receives the right inputs, akin to a car efficiently using its fuel. For instance, too much fuel can damage a gas line engine. Similarly, the body needs the right proportion of food. Blood vessels are the body's fuel lines. The body utilizes various energy sources or substances to generate endocene triphosphate or cellular energy. These energy sources include alcohol, ketones or beta-hydroxybutyrate, protein, glucose or sugar, carbohydrates and free fatty acids. The two primary sources for the body are glucose and free fatty acids or FFA. Only a small portion consists of ketones derived from free fatty acids. Our fuel lines, or blood vessels, are tightly regulated so that there's never an excess of fuel in the line. Maria and Craig Emmerich Some metabolic fuels have good uses, while others are unnecessary. For example, the body cannot store alcohol. It must completely metabolize it before utilizing other energy sources. Hence, it's recommended to avoid alcohol. Increased levels of ketones and glucose contribute to weight gain. In our developmental stages, glucose was our main energy source. Glucose plays various roles, such as powering the brain, muscles, and cells, storing as glycogen in muscles or the liver, and converting into triglycerides for fat storage. Yet, the body requires only minimal glucose at any specific time. Lipolysis separates glycerol from the three FFA molecules in a triglyceride. At this point, the triglyceride molecule enters the bloodstream. Glycerol plays a crucial role in achieving a ketogenic state. A ketogenic diet promotes burning substantial amounts of FFAs from your diet. It also allows your muscles to become more insulin resistant. Athletes who practice keto shouldn't worry about having high ketone levels because the numbers don't matter. The results do. Exercise is more about building mitochondria than burning extra calories. Maria and Craig Emmerich, Key Point 5. How to Preserve Muscle Mass Intermittent fasting involves scheduling meals to allow your body to digest and absorb nutrients optimally. It's most effective to confine your eating period to under 8 hours. This window enables your body to spend enough time making repairs. Additionally, you should consume only water outside your eating window. Fasting reduces the following. Insulin resistance. Blood pressure. Triglycerides. The chances of developing cancer. You can practice a morning or evening fast or a combination of both. A morning fast sustains elevated levels of fat-burning hormones, making it ideal for individuals who exercise in the morning or afternoon. An evening fast keeps you from binging before bed. In this case, you only eat breakfast and lunch, then fast until the following day. Consuming two meals daily is most effective for those following a ketogenic diet. A patient diagnosed with a terminal heart condition practiced three to five day fasts for six months and experienced optimal health. As a result, the terminal heart disease disappeared. Additionally, exercising on an empty stomach in the morning, followed by cardio exercises post-weight training, is beneficial. However, you should change up your exercise routine because your muscles get used to it when you do one exercise consistently. You can also change the duration. However, be careful not to engage in too much physical activity. Did you know, 
According to findings by the Emmeriches, about 70% of the biota that makes up your immune system is in the gut. So, you can reduce the risk of food allergies in a baby by taking bifidobacteria during pregnancy. Key point six. Let your body acclimate to the keto diet. During the first week of a keto lifestyle, increasing your fat intake is crucial because your body has yet to become proficient in metabolizing fats and ketones. Becoming comfortable with new foods is a gradual process. Yet, it's also important to slowly reduce this extra fat as your body gets used to the keto diet. You can make dessert or eggs to quench some of your food cravings. The keto diet is not only for adults. The entire family can benefit from it. With the proper monitoring, you can also practice it during pregnancy. There are hormones in the body that aid growth. Sleep and exercise help to trigger them. Also, restricting carbohydrates can help treat Crohn's disease and colitis. Insulin resistance, often caused by a diet high in sugar and grains, is a common culprit of high blood pressure. Eliminating grains and sugars, particularly fructose, from your diet will significantly improve your cardiovascular health. A ketogenic diet and supplements may help your blood pressure go down. However, working with a healthcare practitioner to monitor your blood pressure levels and adjust your medications is crucial. Some foods you should eat are grass-fed, organic, and humanely raised meat and wild-caught seafood, eggs, fish, unsweetened milk, nuts and seeds, fruits, herbs, and spices. You can cook your meals to conform to the keto diet rather than consuming junk that leads to more health issues. Conclusion Be confident about your body and the environment you live in. As Craig Emmerich discovered, our bodies are a complex system, more complicated than sophisticated engineering setups. The body creates productivity from whatever it consumes. What goes into your body is very important, and you'll stay healthy with the right choice of foods. Choose to live a healthy life by eating right. Many people believe that consultation with medical doctors solves their health challenges. Meanwhile, some doctors cannot help their patients more. This inability to help patients as they should is because they have many people to attend to. Before you break down completely or develop a health challenge, there must have been a buildup of the wrong input in your body. Therefore, monitoring your dietary intake by adopting the keto diet is useful. Try to consume sufficient protein, train your strength, rest, and repeat the process to build muscles. Additionally, engaging in yoga can be effective in targeting resistant fat deposits. Research shows that yoga reduces stress hormone levels and enhances insulin sensitivity. Your health is in your hands, so make the most of this chance. However, always remember to consult with your doctor before making any drastic changes to your diet or lifestyle. Try this. Compile a diary of your daily food intake. Compare this diary with the guidelines of the keto diet. If you consume foods not in line with the diet, eliminate them.